They may be made out of metal and wood, but guns don't belong in a recycling bin. One was found there yesterday morning, and now authorities are trying to keep that from happening again. News Channel 5's Jennifer Reyes shows you what you need to know to get rid of a gun the right way, new at 6.30. The rifle you see here is now in the hands of Metro Police. It was found Tuesday morning at this recycling center on River Hills Drive. Although badly damaged, it was loaded, and that's a concern for the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms, and Explosives. Any firearm, be it a rifle, a pistol, a revolver, uh, that is disposed of in the general public, lends itself to a danger. Special Agent Michael Knight says there's always a potential for a gun to go off even if it's not loaded and it could be deadly if a child were to pick it up thinking it was a toy. That's why it's important for gun owners to get rid of them properly. One way is by contacting Metro Police. The other way is for an individual that legally own either farms or certain types of farms parts to go through a federal farms licensee and make that proper transfer. Either way, Knight says it's important that you keep a paper trail of your gun because if it's ever found, it will be treated as evidence. It may be looking at from the, the evidence collection of latent fingerprints or DNA as well as conducting the firearms trace on that firearm. Once that's done, the guns are destroyed. When these two rifles go through that process, they won't be recognizable. When they destroy a firearm, it will make it inoperable, uh, and that will be by a variety of safe methods. That's what will likely happen to the rifle that was found at the recycling center. One thing was made clear today, guns don't belong here. The recycling center tells me this is the very first time they've ever found a gun here. Metro Police would like to prevent this sort of thing from happening again. And that is why they're offering their gift cards for guns program, where you can surrender a gun in exchange for a gift card. That program will kick off sometime in September. In Nashville, I'm Jennifer Reyes, News Channel 5 HD.